Professor Peter Corte has partly blamed the challenges being experienced by some of the country's media houses on the motive for setting them up. His comments come on the back of several layoffs in the media with TV Africa, Group Indum and EIB Network said to be amongst the hardest hit. Now, the layoffs have also come on the back of the banking crisis, which has seen the collapse of seven banks with hundreds of staff losing their jobs as a result. We will shortly hear from Professor Peter Quarte. But let's get on to the Facebook page of uh, Dr. Papakwesu Indum, who has posted something in relation to the layoffs. So he says, it is time we remind ourselves, and uh, goes on to quote a Bible verse, John 8, uh, John chapter 8, verse 7. And he says, It has become commonplace for a number of Ghanaians to shout, crucify him, jail them, and throw away the keys, seize their assets, thieves. We hear these on the streets from lawyers, economists, consultants, government officials, and others. We have been here before as a nation. Some lost their lives, yet we are where we are. It is a fact that seven locally owned banks have been stripped of their licenses by the regulator. It is appropriate for those alleged to have caused the loss, losses or so engaged in criminal conduct to be taken through the dictates of the law. But why this overwhelming attack on all Ghanaian banks? Investments in finance houses and insurance companies, all professions and industries in Ghana have problems and many are under stress. This includes legal, media, health, education, pharmacy, public sector, football, music, etc. We cannot continue the early recounting of wrongdoing, challenges, and problems. Let's find solutions. That understandably is a difficult thing to do, but we cannot give up our own entrepreneurs, professionals, and workers. And he says, my point is, let's help those local businesses who show seriousness about doing the right things by embracing discipline, uh, good governance, and prudent uh, behavior. Economic jobs and well-being are at stake. Now, he goes on. Uh, to say at Group Indum, uh, we have over 6,000 employees. Most of them work hard. They are families and they have hopes for a better future. I agonize over even one employee who has to go home because a business cannot support him or her. Once in my life, I had to sell almost everything I owned in charity and start all over again. But my dignity and knowledge was intact, so I bounced back. I will do it all again if I have to, but not everyone has the choices available to me. And uh, he goes on and on on this particular issue. But we will come back to this later. But let's get on to Skype now and uh, speak with the president of the Ghana Independent Broadcasters Association, Association da Andrew Danso Ninkra. And uh, thank you for making time, uh, Mr. Danso Ninkra. Now, what do you know about the layoffs in the media? And is it something that, uh, that worries Giba? Okay, thank you, Israel. Um, yes, it is something we are picking up. It's some kind of information we are picking up from um, social media. And we are, at the moment, trying our best to find out the entirety, the truth about this. Um, the little check we have run indicates that a few of the affected media houses, yes, they are not entire layoffs as it is being um, put out there, but basically some of them are regular things that they do, um, which has to do with management decision. In some cases, there have been a few resignations and the rest. But otherwise, um, it is something which is reflecting on the general economy at the moment. So you, you relate it to, or you think that it has to do with the economy, that the economy is facing challenges, and as a result, uh, these businesses are having to go through some challenge? More, more, more so because it is not just limited to the media landscape um, it is also affecting other companies as the banks as the mining industry even um, concerning government workers themselves the public service is also affected so that should also inform you that it is not just about the media but also has to do with um, the general economy 
Right, but if you look at the media landscape, it isn't quite all the media houses that are having to do this. And incidentally, uh, a number of the media houses, or quite a number of the media houses that have been affected, happens to have some links with the, the financial sector. And you're saying that you still think that it has to do with the general economy. Well, I wouldn't be able to say it is all of them that are related to financial institutions. There are other media houses that are related to financial institutions who immediately are not affected. Um, basically, yes, it could be that those who are um, reacting right now belong to some financial institutions or are related to financial institutions. But then the point is this, um, there are media organizations which are surviving. There are media organizations which are in the system who are still working. Um, again, you would realize also that some of these companies were related to banks and they have worked for some time. And so if what is happening in the banking sector affects them, they definitely will have to re-strategize. So I believe it is part of um, the normal thing to do in re-strategizing that is going on at the moment. Does Giba intend to do anything about this? Certainly, um, it affects members who have people who work with them. And so we will need to meet and find out and understand what exactly is going on and be able to put out a document. We also are thinking of meeting with um, the labor unions and the labor front and then to discuss the way forward. Now that's one other issue that comes up. It, it turns out that the media there's no labor front as far as the media is concerned. Could this be the reason why all this is happening to them? And if they, if they had uh, an, if they were part of organized labor, it would have been they would have had a front to tackle some of these things that are coming up. I wouldn't agree immediately, or I wouldn't agree entirely. Um, you would agree with me that the public sector in terms of the public service sector also have their labor unions but some of these things are also happening in those areas so it is not because we don't have labor unions that is why again um, it is a choice of the individuals to join labor unions or to choose what labor unions they want to belong to um, I believe strongly that it is not just because we, ha we don't have labor unions but it is because it is something that is happening which affects virtually everybody who is working currently um, everybody is free to join a labor union, to form a labor union. And if you feel in doing so, that will help your situation better in future. Why not? We have to bring that on also. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Andrew Danso and Inkra. Andrew Danso and Inkra is president of the Ghana Independent Broadcasters Association. And you're speaking to us from Kumasi. Well, economist Professor Peter Quarte, he believes the media houses that are challenged right now were not set up as viable businesses. He ex also explains there could be a link between the crisis in the banking sector and the challenges being experienced by the media houses. The media outlet is not financially sustainable, not viable, they are not profitable. Uh, they draw on these financial institutions uh, in order to uh, remain uh, vibrant or a going concern. Then certainly, once your source of funding dries up, you will go down. But if, the, yes, you got a capital from your financier, but you are independent, you are viable, I don't see why if your financier goes down, you should go down. Unless there is no good corporate governance structure within those media houses, uh, unless those media houses are not profitable, uh, they are basically running at uh, a loss most of the time. That is uh, uh, why or how uh, they will fold up uh, or, or lay off workers if uh, their financier is, is in trouble. Well, the, the money when you are calculating growth is not the money that is put in. It is the deliver or the output that they churn out. Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, obviously um, their output is dependent on how much funds, working capital, they get to, to finance the activity. So it's very likely that uh, it's the money that they receive from their, uh, not all of them, I believe, uh, some of them actually their output 
uh, or employment that they, they've been generated is as a result of the funding they've been receiving uh, from their uh, mother or financiers. Uh, Sometimes uh, people do that because the media houses are sort of sources of advertisement. So uh, a bank can, for instance, create a subsidiary where they will promote their operations, they, they will promote their image, their advert, advertisements, you know, their products. And so it's not a bad thing to do that uh, a finance company sets up a media house. Uh, but then once that is done, those media houses should be on a sustainable track 